So it's safe to say that if there was a swimming pool full of coconut oil and one full of coconut water, you would swim in the coconut water. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Talk Tuesdays with Trace Cakeys, where we take a random ingredient from our products, turn it into tea, and uh, talk about it. That was awkward. We got coconut tea today. This is a coconut, believe it or not. We might cut it open. We might not cut it open. It looks kind of hard. I watched about 10 seconds of a video on how to cut a coconut open and it looked pretty hard, especially this kind. We also don't have knives. We have plastic ones. That's not gonna cut the cake or coconut. It's not gonna cut the coconut. I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but girl, I am living. I did not know that, um... Uh, coconut could be turned into a tea. You can basically make tea out of anything. Like if you see like a citrus tea, it's just normally like some sort of like black tea or green tea with like citrus peel put into it or essential oil put into it. So we made our own tea infusion of black tea and coconut tea. But yeah, let's get into what coconut is. Is it a nut? A coconut is a fruit, believe it or not. So in your research, uh, did, did you ever happen to find out the benefits of coconut on the skin? Yes, so coconut is actually linked to some very well-known benefits in the skincare world. It's an antimicrobial, it's an antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, all the antis that your skin needs to be healthy. It's very anti. It's very anti. It's, it's really <laughs> so it's a huge holy grail statement product for people to go and get actual coconut oil from the grocery store. I wanted to read up on that and see if I could learn a little bit more nitty gritty details about it. I found out that there are a few different options that you can choose from at the grocery store and that's gonna be unrefined, refined, and organic cold pressed coconut oil. And there's actually two of those options that are gonna be great options and one that isn't so great. Really? <laughs> So refined coconut oil is something that you're definitely not going to want to put on your skin. It's heated up, I guess, at such high temperatures that it's killing off those antioxidants and other useful benefits. The two that you want to go for, I guess, is going to be that cold pressed organic coconut oil because it has such a gentle process of getting that coconut oil and it doesn't have all those pesticides and chemicals put into it. Before we move on, I think I'm going to taste this coconut black tea with my pinky up, of course. <laughs> I'll cheers the air, or the, I'll cheers the mic. How about that? Right. Ding. Pinky up. Pinky! Pinky! So this was black tea and just coconut shavings? That's pretty good. I actually, I really like that. I That's yummy. That no, it's literally just coconut shavings and black tea. How does it compare to the lavender tea we had? It's way better. I like it a lot. Okay, keeping my pinky up. I also have some coconut milk that I'm gonna try adding to it and see if that kind of spices it up a little bit. Now that we have our coconut milk in our tea, let's talk about coconut water. That's my personal favorite ingredient and I'm gonna tell you why. Tell me why! So what I read from Paula's Choice is that coconut oil is really good at removing excess oils from the skin while allowing the natural oils and all those good oils to stay. Not only does it help remove excess oil buildup, but it also helps to just hydrate the skin without adding excess oil, like coconut oil could do. So make sure that you take into consideration what type of skin you have before deciding what type of coconut ingredient you want to use for your skin concerns. <laughs> The big takeaway that I'm getting from the difference between coconut oil and coconut water really depends on like if you have dry skin, oily skin, what your skincare concerns are. So it's safe to say that if there was a swimming pool full of coconut oil and one full of coconut water, you would swim in the coconut water. Yeah, because I think it'd be hard to swim in coconut oil. As Chris likes to say, let's isify this tea. No, I don't. I said it one time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All gone. I was thirsty. <laughs> hey, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? 
I found some very useful information online that I wanted to share with you, and I'd like for you to react to it regarding coconuts. This? That it, yeah, regarding that. <laughs> regarding this, okay. Uh, have you ever seen a... Do I click on it? Eh, not yet. Not have yet? Have you ever seen a moldy coconut before on the inside? No. Me neither, but it seems pretty gross. Have you ever eaten or drank something and then later found out that it was moldy? Gross. No, I'm like really skeptical on what I eat. One time, I are you gonna have something? Pretty gross. You like that? This looks delicious. This is it's really good with the coconut milk in it. So coconut and black tea is really good with coconut milk. Click on the link. Yeah. Ew. What the. What if our coconut, coconut looks like that? Wake up, Pearl. Coconuts are mammals because they produce milk. And have fur, true or false? I mean, it, it um. You're not stupid, Karen. No, I am actually. All right, click on the next one. Coconut tree balloons. Do these look more like coconuts or? Something else. Those look a lot like something else. All right, moving on. <laughs> they look like titties. <laughs> this is very important. You probably know about this, but the, you can click on the next one. Okay. The coconut crab. No, no. Crab immediately no. Yeah, immediately no. Immediately no. Immediately no. 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 I don't like things with long legs and more than two legs. Absolutely not, Chris. Absolutely. No, I won't look at it. I can't. It looks like a spider. It looks like a giant freaky spider. Okay, and the last one reminded me of you. Oh, great. Is it so, gonna be a spider? No. <laughs> so it's a little story. Ordered a short lavender chai oat milk latte with coconut milk. Because, because you like to order long. I don't like to order long orders. Tell me if this is a long order. A venti cold brew with sweet cream and caramel and sweet cream cold foam with two extra shots of espresso. That is not, that's, that's, that's the longest order ever. Are there any benefits at all to ingesting, to drinking or like eating coconuts or is it all just a myth? Is it all a myth? I actually have seven benefits from drinking coconut water from healthline.com. So they say it's a good source for several nutrients and minerals such as like magnesium and potassium, things like that. It may have antioxidant properties, keyword may. It also may help lower blood sugar. They say it may help with um, preventing kidney stones. Interesting. Have you ever had a kidney stone? I have never had a kidney stone. Me neither. Sounds painful. I'm afraid you've got kidney stones. Uh, well, what else could it be? It's kidney stones. <laughs> or kidney stones. Um, there's a lot of maze about what it does internally for you. It may support heart health. Um, I thought that this was a little interesting, so I did want to dive a little deeper into this. There was an older study from 2008 where they found that after 45 days of consuming coconut water every day, um, it actually lowered cholesterol and triglyceride levels in a similar way that a drug is used to lower cholesterol. So I thought that was pretty interesting that there's an actual study on that. Take that with a grain of salt, do your own research if you want to figure out that that's true. But I thought it was interesting that it could support heart health. Number six. So number six, it's beneficial after prolonged exercise. Several studies actually found that coconut water is more hydrating than actual water after exercise. A study from 2014 that was done in Brazil found that coconut water actually improved exercise capacity on a very hot day as opposed to the other people that were just drinking water. They felt a little bit more fatigued than the people that were drinking coconut water. So that was very interesting and I think I'm gonna add coconut water into my diet a lot more. Because of the ability of coconut water to immensely restore hydration and replenish lost electrolytes, it's an amazing alternative to Gatorade or Powerade or those other sports drinks is what I found out. 
Lastly, it's just a delicious source of hydration, which we kind of just chatted about two seconds ago. All in all, everything's pretty great. It's all got antioxidants in it. It's good for you internally. It's good for you externally. It's good in this tea. It's good in this coconut milk. It's just great. It's just great. Let us know if you're gonna put any of these new things into your routine, like coconut water for the face or coconut water for after working out. Cause I know I am. I learned a lot today and I hope you did too. Thanks for joining Tea Talk Tuesdays with Trace Cakeys. My name's Cody Marie. Bye. The tea has been spilt. Is this not in my forehead? Oh, it sure is. Oh, the Trace Cakeys. Tea Talk Tuesdays with Trace Cakeys. <laughs> Anything coconut oil is good. I like it. Mm. What? <laughs> Anything coconut oil. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Whenever you're ready, go. Whenever I'm ready, go. Okay. Action! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is it going to prevent excess oils from happening, it's also going. Wait. That doesn't. I didn't write that. Make it great, just like we're made up, made up.